Hello everyone, Rurikon here, bringing you guys another session of Demon Souls. And in today's episode of Demon Souls, uh, you guys actually are getting a little bit of a post commentary here. Uh, simply because I was just trying this out to see how it would work to actually put worlds in, um, in full black tendency. Because i never done it before, actually placed the world in full black tendency. And you guys might be wondering, well, why do you want to put a world in full black tendency? Well... I want to put worlds in full black tendency simply because I want to be able to farm the, what are they called? The the demon things, the, the primeval demons, is that the name? I think that's the name, the primeval demons. Uh, because I want to get colorless demon souls so that I can upgrade the, the Makoto sword. Because that is the material that you need to upgrade the Makoto sword. And so that is uh, the reason why I'm doing this, which is basically, I, I'm actually not looking at the footage as I'm doing commentary, but basically I'm dying a whole bunch of times in the World 4, which is Shriner Storms. And the reason I'm dying all those times in Shriner Storms is because if you actually revive and then die on a certain world, it will shift the world towards a blacker tendency. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to shift uh, this world to pure black. After shifting it, after shifting it to pure black, I'm going to be killing the colorless, uh, colorless, the primeval demon. And after slaughtering the primeval demon, I will get a colorless demon soul, and we will resume normal uh, commentary. Hopefully, at least that's the the plan that I have. And right now, what I'm actually going to do is... I've been thinking about which world I want to go to next. I'm thinking that probably I should get started on the um, on World 2. So that I can go ahead and just get to Blacksmith Ed. So that I can start thinking about upgrading the Makoto Sword. So let's go ahead and do 2-1. Which I think I haven't even been here. Oh, actually I have been here. Because this is where I came when I was trying to get full uh, white character tendency. I try to get uh, players to invade me in here. But unfortunately, uh, nobody was able to invade me for whatever reason. And I, want, I just wanted to, people to invade me so that I could kill them. And then I would get the, um, the whole white, world ten the white, world, white character tendency thing. But it ended up not happening. And that is the reason why you guys won't see the, the vendor here. Because uh, at some point I had a PvP fight with someone and they actually suicided instead of fighting me until, until the better end. For whatever reason, they just jumped off a cliff. And uh, during the, that fight, I accidentally hit the NPC and the NPC was very, very upset with me. So I had to basically put him out of his misery. Yeah, I felt very sorry for him. But at the end of the day, if you're going to attack me, I'm going to have to go ahead and put you out of your misery because that's what you deserve. Now then, I'm not sure if they can actually attack me here. Yes, they can, it seems. Let's get the hell out of here before they engage again. Whoa! No thank you, good sir, no thank you. Now I need to see, did I actually go down here and pick up the items that are down here? No, I did not. Oops, oh crap. I slipped! I slipped in the elevator and boom, that's what you get. That's right, Burakan, you better get your game face on because Demon Souls is not taking any of your shit. Which is a damn shame. But it's okay because I, I had already killed myself at the... Um, whoa! I had already killed myself at the next... No, actually, my last death was to... Oh, now that I think about it, I think I might have lost a couple of thousand souls. That's fine. It's not going to be the end of the world. But I already killed myself to get the uh, Black World Tendency in Shrine of Storms. But now let's go up here. I think that there's... A oh, hello. How are you doing, good sir? No, thank you. Have this instead. Now get your ass up. Get your hands up in the air and get stabbed. Look at him still laughing. You think this is funny? Chunk. These guys are vulnerable to piercing attacks, which is the charge attack is basically a piercing attack. So these guys die rather well. Thank you very much. I'm going to take this uh, axe, even though I don't really need it. 
because this is not a strength build. Speaking of stats, how much stats and how are the worlds looking? None of the left ones are pure white. Valley of Defilement, however, is pure white. I'm actually playing in offline mode right now because I do want to manipulate the world tendencies. As you can see, Shrine of Storms is now neutral because I killed the Primeval Demon. And once you kill the Primeval Demon, uh, stuff actually shifts from, um, from pure black, like three degrees towards white or something. I don't know. Like, like I said in a previous video, I am not a huge fan of the whole tendency systems. It's just a, a big annoyance at the end of the day. So it's like whatever. And I understand that a lot of people in, in Demon Souls actually really love the tendency systems. And they think it's really great. But it's like, to me, it's a big inconvenience having to go into the game offline mode. Can't interact with other players if you really want to reliably manipulate world tendencies. It's just, I don't know. Not a huge fan of it. Also, interestingly enough, I currently cannot defend myself from invaders because doing so will shift my balance towards white see that's another one of the problems like right now if i shift my balance towards white i'm actually screwing myself over because i want to keep a pure black character tendency so yeah then again i'm probably just gonna kill myself whenever i resurrect so that i will get te uh, world tendencies to black excuse me if you don't mind go ahead get killed Oh wow, look at the damage I do despite the fact that this isn't even piercing. Although I do have to keep in mind that the durability of this weapon is not that good. How's the durability looking? Where do I even see the durability? Uh, 66 out of 70. Well, it's pretty much it's good right now. Oh, ow. Dudes, don't do that. That's not nice. There you go. That's what you needed. You needed some of that backstab loving. A good loving, give me some of that good, good loving. <sighs> this particular level is definitely not one of my favorites, especially because it's a, it's a pretty long level if you want to be if you want to do the completionist thing, which you guys know that I will always do. I always like doing the completionist thing, so it's like, oh yeah, I forgot, there's wolves here. There's wolves here somewhere, so I gotta be careful. I don't want to go ahead and aggro the wolves before I'm ready for them. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this dude. Oh yeah, the wolves are right behind that vase. Get rid of this dude. We can get rid of this dude too. And the wolves are actually right there, so let's get rid of this guy. There they come. You dirty wolves. Double whammy for the win. Who's next? And I've, I've actually been pretty fearful of uh, picking back up on this playthrough. Because as you guys know, it's been quite some time since uh, the last time that I've recorded Demon Souls. And as a matter of fact, I'm once again recording a little bit in advance because I, I just have to. Because E3 is coming up, and as you guys uh, should be aware of by now, I will be attending E3. So that's going to be another period of time that I'm just not going to be around. Damn you! Holy crap. Look at all the damage that scumbag did. I should actually just go for late moon grass. Slice! Wow. I like that poise, bro. Didn't even move. Of course, it's not really poise because there's no such thing as poise in Demon Souls, but for some reason he was stuck mid-animation and didn't get interrupted. Which is something I wasn't expecting. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Here, keep this. I think there's another dude here, isn't there? No, I might have killed him. I might have killed that fool! Well, we got a lot more of exploration to do in this particular level. And I have to say that, um, as, as you guys should be aware by now, I've been playing Soul Sacrifice. Uh, I'm also sharing that in my channel, but... I've been playing Soul Sacrifice, and I have to say that I've become white a lot more addicted to Soul Sacrifice than I, what I expected. It is, uh, it is quite the game. I wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone who has a Vita. And if anyone is considering getting a Vita for this one game alone, um, because I know that a lot of people probably are, all I can tell you is that the game is definitely really, really good. Whether or not it's worth the purchase of a console, it's really up to you. I mean, I play a lot more games on my Vita besides Soul Sacrifice, but Soul Sacrifice is definitely one of the main reasons why I got it. 
Oh, crap. I forget which side I have to go through here. I think it's this one. Oh, no! Fell on my face. And, yeah, I was on the right side, but I wasn't really on top of the beam, so that screwed me over. It's fine, though. I get to come back here, hang out with these dudes. How you guys doing? Give myself a couple of sharp stones and whatnot. And I know that this stuff is important if I really want to do the, uh... If I really want to go ahead and do the achievements. Which I might try to do, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I will. I'm even thinking of just making all the worlds pure black once I'm done with the game. Dude, how you doing? No, 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 stop that. See? It's cool. It's perfectly fine. And now you're dead. And there was more stuff on the other side that you're able to get as well. Well, actually, I'm gonna eventually go up there. Oh, but I can go back. Oh, that's the thing. Okay, interesting. Interesting! So I might just get rid of these dudes. Hello! Get dead, get dead. And let's have a word with these individuals. Stabby McStaverson strikes again. And that scumbag from upstairs just raining death. Death from above! I want none of that, good sir. Jesus, so much sharp stone and stuff. Do I even have any decent amount of luck? I don't think so. Luck seven. I mean, I got seven luck. Oh, damn! That's not what I want to do. Did I miss this guy the first time I came here? I must have. Uh, it's a shame there's no jumping in this game. I could probably do a jump from uh, one side to the other. It's fine. We'll just go ahead and run through like nobody's business. And now I think we still have to activate the platform there. What's this dude doing? Just sitting there. Wait. I'm not supposed to be seeing ghosts because I'm in offline mode, so that's actually like a developer ghost that was left behind pulling the lever. Interesting. I had never noticed that before. I always thought that was a player. Cool stuff. Developers leaving behind hints for you. That's something very typical from software. I thought I saw something shining. Now the grindstone, I believe, will also repair my weapon, so that's definitely a good thing to have, because in case you guys don't know, the Makoto gets nicked really, really easily. Oh yeah, now I have to actually do the... do the whole thing again. And go back up here. Oh man, the spider boss, I can't wait for that. I don't think this shield has a lot of fire resistance, though. But it should have just about enough for me to survive it. Then again, my character is pretty much... Uh, overleveled for this level at this point, I think. Which still amazes me, the amount of damage that these dudes are making. No! Missed me! And get stabbed. Get your ass stabbed, fool! Why do you have to go down there? Really? Out of all the places you could fall down to... Oh, there you are. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do you a favor that nobody's done for you before. And here's what. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, you scumbag. Hope you enjoy that. That's how much I love you. I don't even... Oh! Damn it! He's probably got some grass on him. The scumbag. And I could probably use that grass. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't used Second Chance yet. Thank you very much. Probably gonna go get that grass. It's just, it's just in my nature. I can't help it. I need it. Must have it. Thank you. And now that we have Second Grass, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Oh man, I even forget which rings I'm using right now. I think it's probably... Regenerators, that's what. Regenerators and Clang. Yeah, because I need Regenerators to offset the Makoto. Okay. I was wondering, because for a second I thought that I was actually using the uh, Stamina Regeneration Ring. My character is so shiny right now! Look at all that shininess on it! It's like a goddamn friggin... 
what do you call those those the firefly? It's like a firefly right now. <laughs> oh wow, I just came upon an interesting notion. When I started this character, I modeled her uh, kind of after my girlfriend. And I was about to say the character that looks like my girlfriend, but I'm, I can't say that anymore. It's like I have to say the character that looks like my wife. Whole marriage and whatnot. Okay, let's see. Nothing here. I always like checking everything, and since I don't play Demon Souls that often, I never know if there's not something hiding. Oh crap. I hate these things. They're so annoying. I need something with a good vertical slash, like so. Slash your ass up. Once again, uh, as true for all the Souls games, and by all the Soul games, I'm talking about Demon Souls and Dark Souls, but as true in both Souls games, move, knowing the moveset of your weapon is probably one of the most important things to know about when it comes to your character. Knowing your weapon moveset. Ridiculously important. Cannot overstate the importance of knowing your moveset. Because knowing your moveset obviously allows you to adapt to every single enemy that you happen to find. Now over here, yeah, there's some stuff over there for fire weapons and whatnot. Hello. Oops. Goddamn gecko. Slice. Slice. Slice what you guys get. I don't think I even need Dragonstone. Again, I just keep picking up everything because if I really want to go ahead full on and try to do all the achievements, I'm going to need it at some point. So yeah. You bastard. Stabby McStabberson. Uh, we don't really have any other items in here, so it's time to go to the back. And I think that these dudes are going to drop some items, if I remember correctly. Hello? How are you doing? Stabs. And stabs. Don't even need to lock on at this point. And stabs. The one thing I still need to practice, though, is the parries. Holy crap, look at all those rocks. I think I might actually go back, because I'm getting probably pretty heavy. I'm probably getting a lot heavier than I really should, because I keep forgetting that this is not Dark Souls, and I just keep picking up everything, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh no, I dropped something, and I'm screwed for all eternity. So yeah. Let's activate the elevator, go up to Ed, and I'm curious to see if Ed will actually upgrade my sword without me giving him the Flame Lurker thing. I doubt he will, but... You never know. And then I can just continue the game from this point. Do, 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 do. Yo, Eddie! How's it going, man? How's it going down here? Always alone, always just working. Mm. I haven't seen you around these parts. Yeah, I haven't, uh, have you? What does it matter? You need yeah, I need a blacksmith. How about, how's about you upgrading my weapon? Oh, you can't really do it now, can you? Because I haven't given you the item that you want, which is the fire thing. Don't wait. Don't waste my time. Well, either way. Let's go ahead. And we pretty much have everything from this section of the world now. So I'm going to just take a lift back, go to the Nexus, clean up. Where's the exit to this place? Uh, oh wait, there's actually something that you can still pick up over here. Right there. Oops, I screwed up. Splat! Good job, Rakan. Good job! So I actually need to wait until you go all the way up and then go back all the way down. That's the point. Jeez. I wonder where my souls ended up. Oh, right here. How convenient. You regained lost soul. Or I can just roll to one of those and risk it all. Oops. Let's 
Probably a bad idea. Damn it. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> It's like I'm playing a platformer at this point. But I need to jump off it a lot further up if I really want to get that loot. I think it's even a stone of ephemeral eye, so it's actually something that I really need. Did I mess it up? Yeah, I messed up the jump. Oh, this is interesting. It's just like hop off one, hop off onto the other one. And from here, whoops. There we go. Oh, it's actually a shard of clear stone. Never mind. Can I jump down from here? I'll probably get myself killed, so no. Let's just wait for the next elevator and from here walk on to the next one and then jump down. Whoa! Friggin' jump master in this bitch. And now let's just go back to the Nexus because obviously we want to do some inventory management, store away all the stones that we've gotten so far because, like I said, they will make your character ridiculously heavy. That's just a fact of life. If you'll excuse me, let me talk to good old Thomas. Thomas, the only guy in here that's not a complete scumbag. Store everything. Store, 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 store. Store everything. Thank you. Crushing stuff. I don't think I can even use this, can I? 30 and 24. I don't think I have those. Yeah, I don't. So store that. Oops, I forgot. Store that. Leave the adjudicator's shields. That's good. Leave the arrows. Um, oh, I have the full armor set on me. Well, you can leave that there too for now. Rings, we're good. We're good. We are indebted. For your fight on our behalf. And now we go back. And we have the shortcut to take us to the last place we were in. And let us proceed onward through the level. And I was really thinking about just putting this level at pure black. But the thing is, since the level is currently at pure white, I could just go ahead. Like I said, this is a relaxed run. So the, the whole point of me doing this run is just do a relaxed Demon Souls run. And so far it has been everything but that. But basically what I'm saying is I might as well just do the whole bosses uh, while we're in pure white and then shift the world to pure black. After I do all the bosses. And I realized that if I really wanted to do a challenge run, the objective would be just put everything pure black, Rurikon! Pure black! Pure black bosses, pure black everything. And I was like, no, that, that's not really what I feel like doing. Don't criticize me for that pretty please. Whoa, 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 dude. That sword looks fiery hot. Not interested in that. Y'all need to relax. Damn it, I missed the last hit. Well, here you go. Keep it. And you can keep this too. There. Bye bye go through the fog and we have a whole bunch more people who are doing some sm holy crap I was gonna say smithing but I guess the guy is actually mining come on I need to parry something here work with me please maybe not let's just go ahead and have another grass you need some more grass Rurikan whoa dude dude not cool I was just picking up ore. I should really be a little bit more comprehensive, I guess. But no, that's just not in my nature. I just need to go ahead and slaughter everything of one, every single one of these pigs. Also, I believe that this video will most likely go up uh, before I actually go to E3. So tell me something. What things would you guys be more interested in for me to gather information of? At E3. Now, obviously, I'm going to try to go to the From Software booth and whatnot, but I'm just curious if there's something that a lot of you guys really want to see me uh, try and get information on. Bear in mind, like I said, I'm mostly not going to do video coverage of E3 because, for one, there's going to be like a bazillion people who are more classified to do it than me over there. And two, I don't think I'm even going to be able to get that much coverage of it to begin with. Oh, wait a second. Am I going to... Did I just screw myself over? Yeah, I kind of did. 
God damn it. I keep forgetting that when you come back to this... When you come back here, there's no way out. But this is fine. But like I was saying, I mean, let me know if there's something in particular that you guys are interested in uh, me getting from E3 that, um, that I can try and get information on. Even though when it's just... I think E3 is going to be one hell of a chaos scenario. Oh man, and yesterday, Jesus Christ, I still can't believe what happened yesterday. Today's the 22nd of May, I always forget uh, to tell people the dates that I'm recording this stuff. But today's the 22nd of May, and yesterday was the Xbox reveal, and I have to say, I already made a video on it, but I, I just... Man, I have never been so disappointed in a console reveal as that. That was like the pinnacle of disappointment. I have no idea what the hell Microsoft was even thinking when they did that. What the hell am I doing? Where the hell am I supposed to go? Ah, this way. The red barrels were hiding the way. I knew that there was a safer route. But yeah, yesterday was pretty disappointing, and I think it was pretty much disappointing for everyone that's interested in gaming, because, I mean... Pretty much Microsoft is doing the whole, no nah, man, we're entertainment. We do entertainment. Now like, oh, it's, come on. People already have VCRs. You really think people are going to buy your overgrown box, your overgrown shoe box, just to friggin' watch videos and multimedia? Come on. Get real. Consoles are for video games. And that is a concept that as hard as you try to struggle not to make it so is not really going to change it. I mean, consoles are for video games. That's that. And by inv investing, putting all your um, eggs into this entertainment basket, what you're doing is alienating your user base. Which just happens not to be me to begin with, but... Sheesh. If I had a dime for every person I've heard badmouth Microsoft yesterday... Jesus Christ, it was insane. Ah, oh, man. It's just the industry is going through uh, a weird phase, like a really weird phase. Like a lot of people are still struggling to understand the game, where the gaming industry really fits. Trying to understand if the gaming industry is more about uh, games, is more about entertainment. I mean, because gaming industry should be more about games. That's what I think. I don't think the gaming industry should be about booth babes and whatever, in the limelight, in Hollywood, and no, I mean, games industry is about games, and let's face it, I mean, I have an audience of 15,000 people currently, which I'm, I'm just like, whoa, 15,000, it's, it's been a long ass way to get to where I am, but yeah, I, I have an audience of about 15,000 people who constantly watch my videos, and I think that all of them are in this industry to play games not not in this industry like oh no i want to watch tv and i mean obviously people still enjoy watching tv but there's other things dedicated to that i don't think we need a console to do all of these things it's like no man needs to watch tv needs to take coffees it needs to be a water cooler man the water cooler thing so many people are going to drive the water cooler thing to the ground. I already know. I mean, I feel like doing it even. I mean, I'm just... It's like, hey, man, how's your water cooler doing? Whenever I see someone who bought an Xbox. <laughs> Is your water cooler running okay? Definitely needs to be a water cooler with all that cooling systems on it. Jesus Christ, the damn thing looked like a huge fan. A wind tunnel of a console. But... Still, at the end of the day, I, th I think I might be passing judgment a little bit too quickly. Who knows what they have to show at E3. But uh, some things that have been confirmed so far is that apparently the console's RAM is DDR3 as opposed to GDDR5, which is uh, what Sony's doing. And let me just tell you, there's a huge, huge difference between DDR3 and GDDR5. Like, huge to the point where... I would say it's got like, I don't know, three to four times the, the processing power of the Xbox. Just just on RAM alone. Just on RAM alone. I mean, even though saying processing power is kind of dumb when you're talking about that, but I mean, it just has... It's not just about the... Because 
the thing is, it's not about the memory capacity. It's about how fast you can access that memory. And GDDR5 is just ridiculously faster than DDR3, let's be honest. I mean, my current computer has 16 gigs of GD, uh, G. <laughs> my current computer has 16 gigs of DDR3. So, I mean, 8 gigs of DDR3, it's not that impressive. So when Microsoft starts saying, oh man, our console is ready for the future, I have to say, I have my doubts. I have my doubts that your console is that ready for the future, Microsoft. I'm sorry. I'm just totally not feeling it. 